What up guys, uh, Kevin here. I'm here to do a video review slash overview slash fits with the Vujade cargo pants or flared cargo pants that came out this past, I believe it released or the pre-orders went up like November, December-ish. Uh, I got mine in about two, three weeks ago and I've been wearing them every so often. I've been wearing them like a few times a week to develop, I guess, like an opinion on them as well as sort of the versatility of it. So I'm here to just talk about the cargos, um, Vujade in specific, as well as some fits. So Vujade Studio is a um, brand that was started by a few cool people on YouTube and Instagram. I'll put their link somewhere over here. Um, Ken, a amazing YouTube creator, as well as I'm so interested in like where he's gonna be taking Vujade. I think that's gonna be super sick. I think supporting small creators is just how you develop and really cultivate new talent. So I like the pants a lot. Let me go into detail about them. So I do have um, the description of the cargo pants right over here. So it is a Japanese satin peach brush cotton. I asked Ken what exactly this means. Uh, essentially the cotton itself is brushed in a way where it feels like a peach like almost like a peach fuzz where it's very soft to the touch um, I personally really like it um, as well as it does have an organic bio wash so it makes it a little bit more vintage feeling as well as a little bit softer I personally really like it the texture of it I think they got amazing amazing and it is a mid-rise as well as it has side metal waist adjustments um, and I'll go into detail about like my personal opinion about those as well as well as some thigh adjustment uh, straps So the finish of it is also flared at the hem So the flaring I think gives a very interesting I guess appearance to the pants and you'll definitely see that on the fits and this was priced around $370 which in my opinion is a little bit higher than uh, what you would expect from like a smaller brand, but I do think that the quality is there as well as getting stuff produced in Japan is really expensive as well as you have to cover the sampling costs as well as like you have to Cover the cost of the actual fabric as well as I know that he likes to use a lot of like Rarer harder to produce fabrics that have like a very unique finish and texture So that's why that it's priced as the way that it is um but I do think that it's a pretty good value, in my opinion, um, especially if you can wear this consistently. I think this flows very well into like, um, into like a kind of minimal looking outfit. So some things that I've noticed when I was wearing these pants is, uh, one, most of the hardware is made in Japan. Uh, I find that really nice. At least I know that it's going to um, like great production and great materials. Uh, I, I believe this is a cotton poly blend. Uh, it's not 100% cotton. That allows it to be a little bit more like flexible, have a little bit more comfort. If it was just purely 100% cotton, I feel like there might be some rigidity issues and you probably have to go through multiple washes. Uh, as well as my personal opinion is that the sizing is a little bit iffy, at least in my opinion. I'm about five foot eight, five foot nine, about 150 pounds. Uh, and my pair, I like how the waist fits. I previously did get the olive pair, but I got it in a size small. I'm traditionally like a waist 30, and the size small is anywhere between 28 to a 30. So the waist did fit, but like the glute area just felt super, super tight. So I knew that I had to get like a medium this time around. Um, but now that I got a medium, it does fit a little bit longer than I initially wanted to. Not necessarily that saying that it's dragging on the floor, but it's getting close to the point to where I'm just kind of like a little nervous about it. So I would say for sizing, it's, it's a little bit hard cause, cause like Mario is six foot, like, I don't know, like six foot tall, like 165 pounds and he wears a medium. And it fits great on him, but I just have such a hard time <laughs> kind of gauging um, how it would look on myself. So that's why I think looking at like maybe a size chart would be probably like your go-to. I, I just kind of wish that it would be, it would be a little bit, <laughs> 
short boy friendly, short king friendly, um, but a size medium does fit me well and you guys will see. Sometimes I do fold it inside, so it does shorten the length of it a little bit and then I think it sits a lot better. Uh, I might even get these um, maybe not necessarily shortened, but I might ask my tailor to kind of like maybe tuck in like an inch or two uh, from the length of it just so that it sits a little bit better uh, for my shoes. So I really like how the fit of it, it's, it's pretty dynamic I would say, where the waist and the thigh area, it's a little bit more on the slim fitting side, while from the knee down, it is that flare uh, opening which I personally really enjoy because I think it makes it look a little bit more unique and fit because not a lot of plant pants have flared uh, hems as well as it kind of gives it a nice shape to it like rather than it just constantly being tapered down uh, I think this flare just kind of gives it a little bit more of a structure to your fit and then with the shoes that you're going to be wearing it really depends um, I've seen a lot of people just wear high tops exclusively with this I have tried this out with like Jowns or New Balances or even like the loafers that I'm wearing right now, uh, those work fine as well. It really is depending on like preference. So I will show you a few different ways or a few different outfits that I would wear them and you guys can decide like which fits most into like both your wardrobe as well as the aesthetic or look that you're looking for. So I do genuinely think that this is a great addition to sort of a wardrobe that has the essentials but doesn't have like sort of a unique piece I think this would be a great addition to like plug in there as well as you fully know that you're supporting a small creator rather than like a big corporate conglomerate or whatever so you know that you're gonna get good materials you know that you are supporting a small creator and you know that it's gonna be unique and it's gonna be not necessarily like a standout piece where it's gonna shout, but I do think that the structure of it does make it a little bit more unique and you can aim towards like getting your own look or getting your own aesthetic through there. So yeah, I will show you guys a few on body shots um, of a few different fits. And yeah, like let me know in the comments what you guys think of the cargo pants. Did you guys cop? Uh, if you did, what are your opinions about it? I'd love to hear back. I try to reply and read all of the comments. So, I'll see you guys there. Follow me on Instagram at kevin.img and I will talk to you guys later. Peace.